here's my latest build it's a compressor made from a fridge motor the motor in the back of a fridge is a compressor it builds plenty of pressure up and the tank is a fire extinguisher again the tank can hold 325 pounds um, which is plenty for 150 pound 120 pound compressor this i bought the gauge and the switch all for believe it or not 10 quid off ebay brand new i couldn't believe it i made a long tube to connect into the main tank and the compressor i've made go into the bottom of the tank from turning it on that's it running it takes about four minutes to build up to pressure I'm just going to pause the video and then you'll see this dial's on its way up and I'll show you in four minutes time. I said I'd come back after I paused it. It's almost up to pressure. Now if you do find a fridge that is damaged, there you go, it's just clicked off and the pump stopped. If you do find your compressor doesn't start or starts intermittently you will find in the side of a compressor one of these it's usually this that goes okay now there's two components in there there's a thermal cutout here and a start they call it a relay uh, in there I think it's a PTC to mister or something like that um, that starts the motor running in the right direction um, they're only cheap they're about eight quid for a brand new one so that gets you an old compressor up and running again um, have a look at the wiring there are people on the internet who can tell you that now this is built up to pressure uh, i'll put a little gun on which i had floating about and yes i've got 150 pound of pressure and I can use and it sits there all night especially if I turn the tap off it'll sit there overnight and still have the same pressure in the morning so seal it up well put uh, plenty of PTFE on all your joints and you'll get yourself a free compressor or nearly free hope you enjoyed